more and more I see customers moving their curator license in the CP4S mode in which you don't pay for EPSs or flows per minute, events per second or, or flows per minute, but you pay uh, per server. So it's basically unlimited EPSs. But those that are still on the uh, EPS counting, uh, sometimes the question arises in which they see here on this dashboard um, event rates and they, they don't see this exceeding their um, their license that they have for EPSs. And uh, this is something I learned from Paulo on how you're actually measuring this. The, the important thing is that this only looks at the events that are being correlated. Let's actually go to the whiteboard and explain what I'm mentioning that. So when we get the events getting into Curator, the first phase is called collection. And the name of the process, and you'll see why I'm, I'm highlighting this in here, is called ECS EC Ingress. And this is what you get the license allocation for, right? If you exceed this, then uh, you will get events being stored into the spillover queue and and you can recover from those for a short period of time, but if the thing is happening all the time, there will be a point in which the, the system will not be able to catch up with the queue, right? After the events are the correlated, the next section is the parsing, where the, you know, every the DSM is actually playing its role, extracting the different components, and the entity involved in there is called ECSEC. After that, comes the correlation phase. And this is what you see on that graph. Well, the point is, is that between this process and this process, there might be a lot of events that are coalesced, so you only see them once, even though you, they are counted on the number of ones that were coming. You may have routing rules. Uh, so you may have all the things that uh, will make that this number will not be the same at, as, as this number in here, right? Now, let's actually complete the graph because after the correlation comes the storage. And here's where you, when you perform your search, the data is gathered from, right? The process for correlation is called ECS EB, EP, that's an event process. The flows have a different, slightly different uh, route because there's no ingress or collection for the flows. The flows start to count right here. Let's actually go into the console and we're going to be issuing a few commands and these commands will be in a file that I will put uh, under this name, commands to measure performance, uh, that enables you to see the counts of those events at the different stages. So let's actually grab this first command. I'm not going to explain the, the, the JMX. I did a video, separate video on it and the watch is just to make it run constantly for two seconds. Every two seconds that command is going to run. So if we go here, let me actually clear the screen. I was testing this before. If we paste that command, what we are going to get is every two seconds we will get an update and see, well, what, what can we learn from here? Well, we see that the uh, current rate in which I'm getting events is now is 220, 173. So this is, uh, and again, I'm not exceeding my license. This is a demo system and I got get very few events coming here from my uh, PFSense uh, here at home. Uh, you see that there are no event drop at this particular stage, right? So this is the way in which you measure the number of events that you get on the first phase. right here, right? If you want to see out of those events, how many are making it into the parsing, and here's where the routing rule and coalescence will be uh, 
eliminating some of them, we're going to grab the second command. It's that easy, right? We grab the second command. We do Control C to escape this one. We paste the second command. And here we see that second face. And notice that, as, as I mentioned on my graph, uh, on my uh, whiteboard here, we, we start seeing the flows. One caveat is that this flow rate is per second and the licensing is flows per minute, so keep that in mind, right? And here we see that my licensing is for a thousand EPSs, and the system gives you like a few more, a thousand and four. So we see that we are comfortably low, and again, this is a, just a demo system. Uh, in your system, it's gonna be looking differently. If we wanna see the number of events that are on the final phase, on the correlation, well, we grab the third command here. We control C out of this one. We paste that one. And we can see on the final phase how many events are actually getting to that correlation phase. Again, short video in case that you have some confusion. Uh, again, if you are still counting EPSs, you may want to evaluate the possibility of going on unlimited EPSs and speak to your IBM people to see if they can offer you that and whether that's convenient for you or not. But uh, in, if you are still counting uh, those events, uh, this can clarify where you are in terms of your licensing and in which uh, stage of the pipeline you are getting um, any excess of spillover. Or the spillover is actually here on the, on the collection phase.